thank you, Attorney General Roosevelt, for doing this. Uh, my first question is, how would you define the rule of law, understand the rule of law? The rule of law is something that I didn't learn about, uh, even in law school. I ne did not learn that terminology, so I've kind of had to figure out, as, an, as a lawyer myself, what the rule of law is. And basically, it's about following the law. <laughs> it's really that simple. It's like we have laws, and they are either on the books, they're statutes, or they are case law that judges and courts have determined are the law. And there's sort of a hierarchy of the law, too, so that it's a Supreme Court of a state, or obviously the Supreme Court of the United States, or if it's in the Constitution, then those laws need to be followed. And if you live in a democracy like the United States, the rule of law is critical. Because if you don't follow the law, or if you decide that uh, someone feels they're above the law for some reason, um, that's a big problem for the continuation of our democracy. And how has your journey as an attorney general been? Maybe the ups and downs you face. Well, it's been fantastic. Um, I've been attorney general for 10 years. I'm in the middle of my third term. I'm an elected attorney general in the state of Oregon. I was a judge before that for many years. I actually retired from being a judge and had no intention of becoming attorney general, but it was an opportunity that presented itself. And I realized that from what I had done my, from my background as a prosecutor, as a judge, as a um, you know, as a woman, uh, one of the first women in Oregon to practice in the courts as a trial lawyer, and then one of the first actually to be a judge on both a trial and appellate court, I uh, thought I might do a good job as attorney general. And as it turned out, it was very good background. Uh, I have loved the opportunity because it brings together politics, which of course you have to run for office. And I've kind of enjoyed that. Get to know people, get out there, you know, try to persuade people to vote for you. Uh, law, obviously, the rule of law. And policy. And I've really enjoyed the policy, being able to, you know, look at the laws and uh, help to reform in some areas that reform was needed. And that's been a big part of my efforts as attorney general. So um, I call myself the people's attorney. I think a lot of us do, because while we represent state government, which is a big and important part of our job, um, you know, so we represent the state agencies and we represent the um, governor and the legislators, um, we also represent the people. And representing the people is really uh, special to me. And looking out for the most vulnerable, the elderly, the elderly kids, students like you, Especially as you get into the uh, part of the part of your life and career where you you have to borrow money, uh, maybe to go to school. Maybe you're one of the lucky ones that doesn't. But if you do, I try to look out, make sure that uh, that doesn't become a lifetime obligation for you, but that it assists you in getting your education. That's what it should do. And we want you to be well educated, but we don't want you to be saddled with that. And uh, speaking of students, how can students stay safe and secure? Uh, on the internet while technology is going rapidly today? It's challenging. Um, first of all, uh, I would say, you know, don't use the internet too much. <laughs> like, read books, you know, write, learn to do the things that um, that we used to have to do with without the internet. Uh, because I think in some ways it's a, it's a crutch and it prevents uh, young people from uh, having some opportunities to develop their skills get a little bit lazy, I think, when you, you're focusing on the internet. Uh, but I'm sure there's a lot of good things that you're using it for, so limit your time. Uh, read, the, as hard as they are to understand, read the policy statements and the um, disclosures. Uh, keep your keep your uh, passwords safe, change them, update them, use multi-factor authentication so that you're safe on the internet, and look out for scammers. There's scammers out there that will try to rip you off on the internet. So for example, phishing, you might have heard of that, P-H-I-S-H-I-N-G, it's um, people who want to take advantage of you by say, sending you a link, don't click onto links. I have a whole campaign in my office called Don't Click. I have another campaign called Just Hang Up, like if someone calls you on the phone and tries to scam you, you don't know who they are, hang up the phone. And that's mostly for seniors, but it's for everybody. Uh, there's so many ways in which you can be taken advantage of as a student, as a young person, and as an older person as well. So always be looking out for that. Uh, read our materials. Go on OregonConsumer.gov 
read our materials, download them, share them with your friends and your family. Uh, they'll help you stay safe on the internet. Thank you so much.